wanna take it slow Just wanna let you know Ready to spend some time I wanna spend some time Hey guys, welcome back to my channel My name is Amaka and this is Ami Lifestyle <laughs> If you are new here, thank you for joining our small family And if you are not new, uh -uh, welcome back Time for gist <laughs> Anyway, I want to quickly talk about how we got our accommodation in Canada before we left Nigeria. So, as you know, when we landed, we landed straight into our apartment in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. So we didn't have to stay in an Airbnb or squat with somebody or anything like that. And this is because of the community of Nigerians that we have here in Canada. In Calgary, you know, there are groups for people who live in Alberta, which is the province, so people who live in Edmonton, Calgary, Red Deer, Lethbridge, Medicine Heart, they are all in those groups and they are just there to help new immigrants like us find it easier to settle down in Canada. They also give a lot of information and also if you are in the process, it's advisable to join those groups. We also have the one for Saskatchewan, for people who live in like Regina, Saskatoon, and other cities in Saskatchewan, they actually help people settle in better by helping them with things like getting accommodation, airport pickup, food, you know, as you land and stuff like that. Very, very nice people, very, very nice community. So when you also land, you pay it forward and make sure that, you know, you help your fellow countrymen when they land. Of course, it's a thing of choice, but it's actually a good thing to do. When we got our PPR, as we said, our passport, the next thing is when we landed, where we need to sleep, where we need to stay, <laughs> where we need to stay. So we started looking out for Airbnbs and short let, which is like the, you know, next thing that you'll be looking out for. And the prices were really, really high. We started to consider, you know, if we spend that much on Airbnb for like two weeks or a month, then we have to also now go ahead to find an apartment and then still spend money trying to put the apartment together and also paying the rent. And if you know, you know that when you're landing in Canada as a new immigrant, you don't have a credit history, you don't have a job yet, for people who don't have a job yet, you know, even those that have a job, they don't earn their first salary, so they don't even have a credit history. They don't have a rental history also in Canada, which is very, very important. You know, you have to have someone that will refree you. Your rental history from Nigeria does not count, so no need. Don't bother yourself, bring a letter from your landlord in Ajangbadi. It's not going to count. <laughs> it's not going to count. You need support. You really need a lot of support when you are when you are landing in Canada. So um, after checking the price of Airbnb, I saw that you know the price were too much. That money we can easily to furnish our house a bit. You know, set the house in order. We said to start asking if anybody has any opening in the apartment complex or anybody's an agent in Canada that can help us secure accommodation before we land. We are very lucky that somebody who lives in the same apartment complex as ours knew that there was an empty apartment and then decided to recommend us for it so we got recommended for it from nigeria she sent us the link asked us to check it out if it's something that we like we saw the link we liked it number one it was within our budget number two it was exactly what we wanted a two bedroom one bathroom with kitchen that's you know furnished apartment of course the apartment is not furnished in any other place but the kitchen the kitchen is fully furnished with the stove countertop dishwasher a freezer yeah so those are the things that were there and it was in a good area you know in calgary we were happy with what we saw and asked her to help us to proceed with helping us secure the apartment she did she helped us talk to the building management they asked us to pay our security deposit which is like 400 canadian dollars which we did we had another friend also who recently moved to calgary testimony time <laughs> She was the one that helped us come down to this apartment to look at it and just tell us that yes, it's okay. Everything we saw in the video is what is here. Everything is okay. And then it's in a good environment and all. And then because we trusted her, because we knew her right from Nigeria, we trusted her to make our payments for us. She made the security deposit payment for us, 400 Canadian dollars. In fact, we didn't pay her that money till the day we landed in Canada. We gave her the money cash. The day we landed in Canada. So you, so, it was a it was in fact you need people that you trust you know you need people that you trust especially when it comes to like things like payment when you are coming as a new immigrant you have to pay three months of rent upfront you can't pay 
just one month. The rent, for instance, is $1,500. You must multiply that by three. That's $4,500 Canadian dollars. If you convert it to Nigerian currency or whatever currency the country that you are in, you will know that it's quite a lot of money, you know, to give to somebody for an apartment. So it was a big commitment, but we we're willing to make it because we we're willing to do this once and for all. So our friend made the payment for us. We sent her Naira, the equivalent in Naira, and she converted using one of these currency exchange apps and got the Canadian dollars. She raised the bank draft and went to make the payment to the building office, secured the apartment for us and we became renters in Canada even before we landed. So right now we have rental history, yes. Uh, we have credit history, yes, because we opened a bank account in Canada. For those who don't know, when you want to open a bank account, you need a rental agreement. You can't open a bank account without a rental agreement because you need to know where you live. When we went to Costco to get our Costco cards, we needed a rental agreement to prove where we lived. <laughs> so, yeah, for some things that you would like to do when you land in Canada, they want to see that you are living somewhere. You know, they can easily get you. <laughs> so, they need to see your rental agreement. So it was that was why within the first three to four days of landing in Canada, it was like everything was really fast for us because we had a rental agreement to go do anything that requires a rental agreement, which is like opening bank accounts and stuff. We were able to do that because we already secured our apartment and already signed all those documents before we landed. So it's very, very, very important. That's why we are really, really grateful to people that helped us um, secure our apartment before we landed. Now, I will take you guys on a house tour. Alright guys, so when you walk in, this is just like a walkway. But to the left, you have two wardrobes here. Here we have a wardrobe for winter jacket. I'm going to open that up now. So as you can see, we have our three winter jackets here from Nigeria. Down here we have shoes. These are just basically the shoes that we wear, we wear out mostly. We also have like some water here. We just stored the water here because there's so much space here. You can also see that on top of this place there's also space. So we have enough storage space here. The other side of the wardrobe is where we're using as a pantry space. So we have food stuff from Nigeria <laughs> and food stuff that you know they don't have to be in the freezer of course or the fridge so they are all here maximum space so this is the pantry the next space that I'm going to show you guys is the kitchen if you look here we have the um, cooker the cooker is here there's an oven down here and we have all this cabinet space in fact I've not finished using the entire cabinetry space that we have here. We have enough cabinetry space. We also have cabinetry space below, so there is a lot of space to keep anything that you want to keep in this kitchen. And we have a sink, of course. We have a freezer, a fridge. Can I open it? Yeah. A fridge and a freezer. And also, we have this dishwasher here. Let me pull that down for you guys. This is to wash plates all right i can open some of the cabinets for you guys to see you know some things that are inside the cabinet plates um wine glasses and stuff just of course regular things that should be in the kitchen so yeah here's my kitchen <laughs> all right so the kitchen leads to this small space that is supposed to be for, I think for dining, this is supposed to be the dining area, but we have a deep freezer here because winter is coming, you have to stock up on stuff, you can't go out all the time in winter here, so we are already ready with our deep freezer. I don't know if this is looking like an empty house though, but don't worry, it's empty, the house is very empty. So yeah, we have our deep freezer here, we got this from Costco. Remember when I said we got the chair? and the table from Ikea. So we set those up. This is the chair that we got from Ikea that we set up ourselves. They're proud. <laughs> and then this is the table. So this is like a workstation for us for now. We have just one workstation. We're managing. We are managing. And then when you come in here, this is the living room area. It's so spacious. Like, look at this. It's very, very spacious. 
So we are still going to have a couch here. It's already ordered, so we're just waiting for it to be delivered. And then we have a center table also coming in. So we are waiting for the couch and the center table to be delivered. This is the door that leads to outside, but I'll take you guys outside later on. The house also comes with blinds. Like so. I will show you guys there throughout the house, all the windows have it because we're not allowed to put anything across, you know, any cutting or hit nails or anything in the wall. This door leads to the outside. I'm going to go out later on to show you guys the balcony and the surrounding area. I'm going to take you guys to the rooms now. Let's go. So let's start from this first room, which is the master bedroom or the primary bedroom. So as you can see, it's empty. <laughs> The bed is in the sitting room now, but it's going to be brought into the room later, especially when the couch and everything for this living room comes in. So we're going to come here and we'll start setting this place up. But for now, it's empty, echoey, and stuff. And then, like the, like I told you before, the beds that we have in the living room, we have it here too. We have this huge closet space. As you can see, we've already settled in. <laughs> We've made ourselves comfortable. I've hanged all my clothes here. We're starting to settle in a little bit to this side too. As you can see, this is the husband's part. The husband's section. Alright, let's go to the second room, which is... I think this room is a bit, just a little bit smaller than the primary bedroom. But it still works. So yeah, I've started storing things anyhow here. This is a bag, random bag random drying rack random door hair for my wings <laughs> and here's the wardrobe also I can, I can barely it just has random stuff in it oh my god i can barely open it up okay so i'm going to show you guys the storage area open that up and turn that on nothing much to see here this is just a holding area for all sorts of things we have trash bags we have tissue paper just have a lot of random stuff here like some things that we don't want to keep in the room would be here the reason this place cannot be used as an office is because it has no heat in here so it's it's really cold it's colder here than the rest of the house finally i'm going to show you guys the bathroom in the bathroom this is the bathtub we have the toilet, nothing so, like everything is just basic and compact. We have a, I think smell extractor or heat extractor or something. So it just extracts the smell from the bathroom because there are no windows as you guys can see in this place. So you have to, there has to be a solution for it. So this is the solution. There are cabinets here, cabinetry space to keep random things. Yeah, I have my skincare up here and as time goes on, of course, we'll make sure that everything looks nice, prim and proper. But for now, this is what we're working with. Okay, you can see there's a huge, huge mirror here, which I love dressing up in front of every morning. Walking to the balcony, I'm going to show you guys where we control the heating system from. Here's the control for the heating system. As you can see, around the house, there are heaters, of course, because Canada can get really cold in the winter. So our heaters are off now because it's summer, the weather is okay and if I want to increase it or decrease it, it's very simple. Here's the balcony area, as you can see, it's wide, it's spacious. We can have a grill here, but they said it has to be propane gas grill, so that's what we're going to be getting for this space if we decide to get a view here you can see that we have like a playground for children a playing area for kids in the evenings when you come out here you will definitely see kids here playing football or doing whatever but yeah it's really green and nice and the weather is so good today <laughs> so nice today all right so i've just showed you guys my empty house store this is a two bedroom one bathroom apartment in Calgary, Alberta, just 15 minutes away from downtown Calgary, and it has amenities like a playground, like I've showed you guys. Underground parking is also available, and above ground parking 
but a lot of people are parking above the ground now because it's summer there's no um there's no snow at this time so it's cheaper to park above ground than on the ground so people are parking above ground now the house rent also includes the water supply the heating system too and also the appliances that came with the apartment like you guys saw another thing i want to say is that the deep freezer didn't come with the apartment i don't know if i mentioned that it didn't come with the apartment and also the microwave that you guys saw in the kitchen didn't also come with the apartment so yeah we got those ourselves because we wanted to make ourselves more comfortable that's my house stuff guys i'll see you guys in my next one make sure to like comment share and subscribe to the channel bye mm -hmm.